Hey guys, I hope you're ready for some whole house cleaning. I'm also gonna be sharing an amazing cleaning hack and a really cool Amazon find that has been super helpful in the kitchen. We are cleaning up after two birthday parties, so the whole house was a disaster, and I'm bringing you along for five days, and we are going to get this house cleaned up. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving. Eyes I can't be, and he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's been fast. Hope you're ready. We're gonna be doing a lot of cleaning throughout the week, so let's go. I have one question for you. Are you ready? I'm serious, are you ready? Because we're gonna be doing lots of cleaning this week in this video. So we are recouping from two birthday parties this past weekend and the house was a literal disaster. Disaster, like every room was messy. So my goal this week was to just dedicate the time to get every single room in this house cleaned up, kind of do like a little house reset and you're coming along, we're gonna transform this house over the week. I'm also sharing with you a cleaning hack. So this was something I had come across and I finally gave it a try and I was pretty shocked at the results. So I'll be sharing that as well as a really cool Amazon purchase that I recently got that I'm kind of in love with and something so simple that you can use in many rooms of your house. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I hope you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him na 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 My heart is saying yeah 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 I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be better catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts When it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want yeah, I can be a fighter I can be a fighter So we are finally ending birthday season here in our household and if you guys are new here You've never been to Jamie's journey. Welcome to my community We have a an amazing community here. So I hope you feel welcomed, but I'm Jamie I have three daughters as you can see right here. I'm married to my husband Mike um, But my daughters are eight a newly turned eight-year-old and then fairly new newly turned four-year-old twins so avery is my oldest and then addison and emery are my twins and like i said they just turned four so they're kind of helping me clean up a little bit because i just threw them two parties <laughs> or they each got a party this weekend so it's the least they could do help me clean up right so we are ending birthday season so my husband's birthday is on january 1st he gets a new year's eve party every single year so he's a january 1st baby and then my birthday is march 2nd and then the twins birthday is march 30th and then avery's birthday is april 23rd so it's kind of like the craziness of the holidays and then birthday seasons and we are done so kind of cleaning up the aftermath and just ready to move into the summer
also we had two birthday parties. So what it was was what we've kind of done in pat recent years, I guess. So we Avery's had a like friend birthday party. So she invited this year eight girls. They came over on Saturday to um we made pizzas, we danced, we just had fun, things like that. And then on Sunday, we had our families over, Mike's family, my family over for a birthday party for all three girls. So since their birthday parties are so, or their birthdays are so close together, um, we typically just combine it for a family party. Obviously we do like special stuff with the twins on their actual birthday, but right now with family we just kind of combine it all because Avery gets a party with her friends and we know eventually the twins will have a party with their friends so it's just easier to combine it for families and so we just kind of made it all in one weekend just to kind of like just have a weekend full of parties and then we're done so that's why like I was telling Mike I think on Sunday night I feel like this weekend my mind has been on overdrive, right? Because when you're throwing a party, you're constantly thinking about number one, other people, making sure they have the drinks and the foods and the snacks that they want and making sure you're taking out the garbage when it gets too full, making sure like, especially with the, the kids party, like where are they? What are they doing? Things like that. So you're just caught, like your mind is just like, I felt like I was an internet browser with 50 tabs open. You're like trying not to forget something like, oh, I got to pull that out of the freezer. I got to pull that out of the fridge, things like that. So it's just, it's been a lot. And I was just not even, oh, I was physically exhausted on Sunday night, but more mentally exhausted. And, uh, you know, add craziness. We had a, the twins had a soccer game on Saturday morning. And then Avery had a softball doubleheader on Sunday. So in between the parties, we had sporting events and, craziness but let me tell you one of the best weekends that we've had in a long time but if you want to know why the house is so messy it's because we had a crazy weekend i know i just cleaned my stainless steel appliances but stay tuned for in a couple of days i'm going to try out a new stainless steel cleaning hack that i came across and let me tell you it absolutely works So I think that's something, you know, I get a, I, the question I get asked a lot is like, how do you stay so motivated to constantly clean? And the, the simplest answer to that is that I just, I don't do well in clutter and chaos and messes. I just, it drives me crazy. I just can't let it go. Um, now this, after this weekend, Sunday night after Avery's doubleheader, and then our families came over after that. And at the doubleheader, it was about, I think it was 40 degrees. It was sleeting rain and they still played. So it was freezing. And no, that just adds like more craziness to the day. I was just so tired. I wanted to clean up. Our families offered to clean up and I was just like, nope, everyone go home. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I will get to this this week. It was just one of those times that you have to sometimes say, I just have to go to bed. Like I have to do that. So I left the mess for Monday and then the week. Okay. So really quickly, I'm using these afresh um, washer tablets so they just clean your washing machine it's just like a tablet you pop in there the directions are super easy I love the afresh tablets for the garbage disposal and for my dishwasher so that's just a really great brand I will have them linked below in the description but it was just really hard to let the mess go on Sunday but sometimes you have to throw in the towel and say you know what the mess will be here tomorrow and that's what I did but let me tell you I felt so good after I got just the countertops and floors cleaned up.
So I tried to show you um, now all of those like marks on the door and the baseboards and the wall that was not from the parties. Those are just from our kids um, living their life. We have four-year-olds. I'm not saying that my eight-year-old isn't messy, but I know a majority of the messy fingerprints come from the four-year-olds and this bathroom gets used the most. And so I wanted to quickly go and wipe down the door, wipe down the baseboards, clean that wall. I think that this being a new house, you know, I'm like if I see a mark on the wall, I'm like, okay, let's, let's take care of it right now. And that Zep foaming wall cleaner is so great. It gets pretty much anything off. I will tell you, it does have a strong scent to it. So if you're sensitive to that, you might want to rethink it, but it does a really, really good job and it doesn't strip the paint, at least on my walls, it does not take off any paint. But I was just going through and really deep cleaning this bathroom, especially after you have a lot of people in and out of your house using this one bathroom, I wanted to make for sure I gave it a good deep clean. So this was the next day. Um, I was making my list before it was time to take the twins to school and then I was going to get some more cleaning done, take advantage of the two hours of free time that I had uninterrupted. And yeah, so I created my list and then I was getting to work. Another thing that I had noticed, there was a lot of fingerprints on the window panes and I've been loving this Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer. It's the deluxe version and there's this window cleaning tool that just does a phenomenal job on cleaning the windows. I love it. I will also have it linked below. It is, I'm having trouble finding the green one, but there is a white one. It is the deluxe. So I think that's key to getting all of the attachments that, that mine came with. It's a white one. That's all I can find right now, but it is, it does come with all of the same attachments that I have on my my green one. So I came across this cleaning hack and I wanted to give it a try. So you rub baby oil on your stainless steel appliances and it's supposed to wipe away any smudges, make your stainless steel appliances streak free, and it's supposed to help prevent smudges. Now I will tell you this cleaning hack works. It's not a miracle, like it doesn't prevent smudges for days on end. Like we had smudges like two days afterwards, but wow, it definitely did help prevent it. And I have never found anything to make my appliances completely 100% streak free. You'll see it specifically here on the, the dishwasher. It, all those streaks were gone and it did help repel some smudges right after I used it. So this is a cleaning headache that truly does work. And I just realized I never thanked you guys for being here. I always want to make for sure that you guys know that I appreciate you. And I don't know, I just know that, like I always say this, but I know your time is precious. Thank you for, for being here and just being a, a wonderful part of this community. It, it really means the world to me. So I came across, I think it was on an Amazon Instagram page, these appliance wheels. And I thought it would be great because I like to, you know, my countertops get pretty messy, pretty dirty, lots of crumbs, and you're constantly moving things around. 
And so I thought that would be kind of cool to have these wheels, especially on my coffee maker. This is a Nespresso and because I'm always grabbing it. So I put the wheels on it and I am in love. These little wheels, I will have them linked down below. They are just perfect for any small appliances that you have in your house, um, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, and it just makes it easier to clean. Or with the coffee maker, you know, you're constantly pulling out to fill up the water. And so it's also great for that. It just moves so much easier. And I've found that it's just cleaning goes quicker because I can move them around easier. I don't really have any other smaller appliances on um, my countertops. I thought about putting some on my toaster, but my toaster has like these little legs and it just didn't work for those. So um, we do need a new toaster. So maybe with a new toaster, I can put those, those wheels on there, but they're really, really great. And I think they will be helpful in many other rooms. I was so excited to get these floors cleaned up. You know when you have a, a lot of people over, it's like you're itching to clean your floors and your bathroom. I don't know, that's always like what I can't wait to clean, that bathroom and get those floors clean. And oh, here I was also taking down signs. Avery had made signs and she put them on our bedroom and on the twins bedroom and it said, do not enter. And then she made a sign that said girls only. And then she put the names of the girls who came to her, her friend party on her door. And it said girls only, which kind of made me laugh because boys were not invited to the party. And the only boy that was in the house, the only male that was in our house was Mike. Um, so I don't know, it just, it, I thought it was kind of cute that she made those little signs. But I did, so I use my Bissell Crosswave with Hydro Steam. I use that to clean my floors. And so a question I've been getting a lot is, do you still like your Tinco? Yes. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Um, and I say this so many times, but I just think it's important to reiterate because I think a lot of people think that if you switch like a cleaning product, like if I use the Jaws multi-surface cleaner, people are like, well, why don't you like use the Mrs. Myers or whatever? I use both. Same thing. I think the Tinco and the Bissell Crosswave, I think they are very, very similar, but they're, they're different in many ways. So if like for me, I kind of choose based on how my floors are. So like for this specific way, I wanted to clean my rugs and I wanted to use the steam mode on the Bissell Crosswave. And so that's why I chose that one because I knew our floors were really dirty. There was a lot of messes um, and like sticky messes on the floor. So that's why I went with that. Now, if you're looking to just a wet dry vacuum, um, something that will just vacuum and mop your floors at, at one, you know, in one go around, you don't care about the steam option. Um, you want something more lightweight. You want something lower, like you, you're, you're on maybe a lower budget. You don't want to spend as much. 10 out of 10 recommend the Tinco iFloor 2. Love that. It is phenomenal. It's more lightweight. It doesn't have a cord, but the Bissell Crosswave has the steam mode option. It also cleans um, or like refreshes the rug. So like there was some mud that was on the surface of the rug by the, the door that took that care of that. And then I also like how it has a sanitizing solution for the floor um, that the Tinco does not have. So they are both great, but they're just, I think, better for different people or different situations. But for this reason, I wanted to get that mud off the, the, the rug, and then I also wanted to use the sanitize formula for the floors. So that's why I chose the cross wave this time.
You can do whatever you like, you don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right, you don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light, you're able to be happy. So by this point, um, the twins were home from school. As you can see, that was Emery. She was kind of helping me out a little bit. So the goal was just to finish up our bedroom and then I was gonna be done to the, for the day and then I'll pick up the next day. So I pretty much did cleaning every single day this week to tackle the house, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to accomplish a task. It just matters that you get it done. And that was my goal. Like, let's try to get every room kind of reset even though, like, for example, we didn't even have people in the twins room, right? But I just, I was, I think because the house was so messy, I was just itching to reset the whole house in every single room. So that's what I'm going to do. And oh, I'm also going to share with you a recipe. So that we made, um, if you guys ever have to feed a big crowd, tacos are also, are great. Number one, they're pretty easy. Most people like them, kids, adults, and you can freeze any leftovers. So, you know, you never want to, there's been years past because we don't have big families. So we would have our, you know, our families come over and we would order pizza and that's obviously more expensive. And then if you have leftovers, it's like you can only eat pizza for so many days, even though it's my favorite food, you can still only eat, or eat it for so many days. So with tacos, it's just great. Cause like I said, the kids love it. The adults love it. Um, you can make up, like I did the ground beef ahead of time and froze it, but then when we're done, we can also freeze it if there was any leftovers. And I did chicken tacos in the crock pot. So I don't know, it's just so easy, everyone loves it, but we had some leftover taco meat and the kids love tacos. And so I've said this before, I'm always trying to find like different ways, like I make a taco pasta, um, you know, trying to find ways to utilize that taco flavor and the ingredients of tacos but like switch it up and i'm gonna make a it's called a frito pie it is so easy you know if i'm making it it's super easy super simple and i was able to use up all of the extra taco ground beef that we had so we're gonna be doing that and i'll kind of show you what it looked like and how i made it here um later on in the week in, So I just popped into the playroom. The girls had already cleaned that up. I think Avery, I think Mike had Avery and the twins um, clean that up on Sunday night after the family left. So he had them clean that up. So I just had to go in and vacuum and then I was just quickly wiped, wipe, wiping down this bathroom. And I was using my DIY cleaner that is one part rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, one part water and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. When I just need to quickly wipe something down and the bathroom or space isn't too messy or dirty, that's what I use. Another room down and clean. And I know I did not clean the toilet, but it doesn't get used very often. So and when you're limited on time, you gotta make some shortcuts. So, not cleaning the toilet, but it'll be okay. It's not dirty or not too dirty at least.
Okay, so Mike has Avery out in the garage and they are practicing softball, working on her swing. The twins are out there, well, they're in and out. They're out there watching. I'm gonna get dinner going and clean up. So I'm gonna get a little bit of cleaning done. I'm gonna take advantage of a little bit of free time while they're occupied, clean a couple of the, the last couple of rooms in the house. I can feel good, like at least my house is clean or was clean. At some, every room in this house at some point this week was clean. Reset it. So I'm gonna do some cleaning, make dinner, and I'll bring you along. Okay, so this is that Frito pie. So all you do is you take crescent rolls, but they, um, instead of using crescent rolls, cause you're essentially just using it as like a base layer, I use, they make like a crescent roll, like a, like a sheet, like a crescent roll sheet. So I just laid that down and then you add on Fritos. I was gonna get the Fritos, but they were like $5 for a bag and I could get the Walmart brand for less than $2. So I definitely went with the, the off brand. I thought they tasted the same. It's funny because out of the two of us, I'm more frugal. My husband is more, I don't know, he's, he likes more name brands and I'm not like, if it tastes close enough, let's just go with the cheaper brand. So he kind of like laughed at me when I got the off brand. I'm like, it's baked in this pie. It doesn't really matter. So I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a little bit when it's done cooking and I'll give you, I'll kind of show you what the girls said. I have to share this. I think, yeah, I did share this in a video before, but Avery has been following a live cam, a live eagle cam, like just like a live stream of a bald eagle and she loves it. <laughs> it's just up 24 seven and it's so cute because the minute she wakes up most of the mornings, um, like if I'm upstairs, like getting ready for the day, come downstairs she'll be sitting here watching the bald eagle cam and then as soon as she gets off the bus walks in the door she comes straight in here to check it out and now she's even got the twins on board and now they love watching it and it's just it's so cute like i love that she loves that it's like but it's just funny because i'm sitting here and it's like literally just a live stream of birds maybe i just don't get it but i don't know it's really cute so if you're not, if you're wondering why there's a live stream of bald eagles, that is. So I had used my Shark Strato cordless vacuum so much and like the previous days and I forgot to charge it. So the Shark Stratos, there's a battery, you just charge the battery, which I kind of like. I think there's pros and cons to that um, compared to like my Tinco Power Hero 11 vacuum, which I had to go and grab. I think there's pro positives and negatives to both. So with the, the Tinco, the white and like blue vac cordless vacuum you actually plug the whole vacuum in to the cord right so it's kind of nice because when you're done like you have to go plug it in because you're going to put the vacuum away to where with the shark stratos it's just the battery and so sometimes every once in a while i'll forget to remove like i'll be done vacuuming and i'm just off thinking about other things or other things that i have to do and i forget to take off the battery from the vacuum and plug that in and that's why 
it died on me because I forgot to plug it in. I probably should just get another battery, but it is kind of nice with the Shark Stratos because I can take the battery off, charge it, and then store the vacuum somewhere else to where when you plug the whole vacuum in, it's a little bit more difficult. You can't just like tuck it into a closet or something like that unless you have an outlet in your closet, which would be nice. We don't have any outlets in our closet, so I had forgotten, but luckily I have plenty of vacuums, so it's not an issue at all. Okay, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Jamie, why are you on your hands and knees mopping the floor when you have a million mops? <laughs> sometimes I just like to get down on my hands and knees and switch it up a little bit. That's why I like, like sometimes you'll see me use my O-Cedar mop. Sometimes you see the, me use the Bissell Cross Wave. Sometimes you see me use my Tinco. Sometimes you see me, me use my E-Cloth mop. It just depends on my mood, how I'm feeling. I just like to switch it up a little bit. And sometimes with like the smaller rooms, like the bathrooms or the laundry room, it's kind of nice. I don't know, sometimes I just want to get on the hand, my hands and knees and mop. I don't know. And I use the Mr. Clean Multi-Surface Cleaner with some hot water in that bowl. Okay, so this is what the Frito pie looked like when I was done. I just laid all ingredients. Now, I will tell you that the recipe called for like adding sour cream and tomato and all that. And because of the kids, I did not do that. Okay, what do we think? Good. Yummy, yummy in my tummy belly. What do you think, Avery? So, Addison, what do you think? Thumbs up. I just did the crescent dough and then I added on the Fritos and then the taco meat and then the cheese on top. And then I just did, cause some of the girls like lettuce, some of the girls don't. So I just added it on the side if they wanted it. And then I add guacamole to mine. So I add lettuce and guacamole to mine and sometimes tomatoes. I like tomatoes, but I don't, they're not essential to me when it comes to tacos, but it was a perfect way to use up that taco meat. I know we could have froze it, but a good way to use that up and everyone loved it. So again, just switching up those ingredients, it was a hit. I will have that recipe linked below as well. fresh out of the shower and I even washed my hair <laughs> okay so it's the end of the night and I'm gonna fold this last load of laundry we just showered all the girls get all the girls showered We're laying upstairs watching a movie um, we all just got out of the shower like getting their jammies on and ready for bed and I'm gonna tackle this laundry I almost left it I was like no I just want it to be done I feel so much better to tackle everything that I wanted to this week it's like the end of the week and I'm just ready to be done. Um, and I don't want the laundry. I hate when the laundry piles up, absolutely hate it. Mike likes to like kind of let it pile up and then he'll fold two or three laundries at a laundry lo He'll fold, Mike will let it pile up. He'll let like two or three loads if they pile up and he doesn't mind folding that many. I hate it. I'd much rather do one load a day and just keep up on it um, and like do the whole thing. Like start it, put it in the dryer, fold it and put it all away all in one day right away because when it piles up I hate folding it taking the time then to fold multiple loads and then taking the time to put away multiple loads especially for the kids so I'm just gonna plow through get it done so I can be done or the weekend and just enjoy myself obviously there will be more like little pickups and laundry to keep up with the weekend but I want to go into the weekend with everything done so I know you have a load of laundry you have something that you have to do let's do it together just a few minutes like this will probably take me 10 minutes 
or less to do. So pick a task, 10 minutes or less, we'll get it done and we can feel good about it. Come on, let's do this. whatever you had to accomplish and just because I share with you I am currently reading Mad Honey by Jodi Picoult reading listening so um if you guys are curious I listen on audible so I have an audible subscription that I listen to my audiobooks and I also have um there's an app called the Libby app l-i-b-b-y I think I don't think there's an e-y but it's a Libby app and as long as you have a library card um, you can enter that in and then you can rent or borrow, I guess, yeah, borrow um, audiobooks from your library. So kind of go back and forth. If there's like a really in-demand book that I want to listen to, I'll use Audible or I'll try to see if it's on the Libby app. But anyways, currently listening to Mad Honey by Jodi Picoult. I have no idea where it's going. Um, I have no idea how it's going to end. I'm about halfway through, so we will see. I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it. Um, but that's what I'm reading right now. That kept me entertained for this week as I was cleaning, but I'm done. Anyways, done for the week. The house is not currently clean because if you clean one room the next day, it's probably not as clean. But at some point, the whole house have, but this week, the whole house has been reset. And I feel better. We can finally take a break from the craziness of birthday season for us. So thank you guys so much for being here, sticking around to the very end. True friend, my true YouTube friend, stick around till the end. So thank you. And I think that'll be it. I will see you guys next Sunday. I think, let's see what's next. I would like to tackle the girls' drawers. I wanna kind of organize their drawers, declutter them. Um, it's almost warm weather. So I wanna kind of go through and see what shorts and short sleeve shirts they need. So that should be up here soon, maybe next week, week after. But anyways, it would definitely be a video next Sunday. Thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, Monday, week, whatever day it is, you're amazing. Hang in there, you're doing amazing. And I realize that I look horrible right now. I'm looking at my hair. Um, Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you next video. See you later.